We are going to talk about formal models of distributed systems. So, what is a model? A model is an abstraction of relevant system properties, which mean you look to reality, you keep some of the properties of reality and you remove others. Why construct or learn a model? Because real world is complex and a model by removing some of the details of the real system can simplify reasoning and understanding of a system. So what model can do for us? It can help us solve problems by understanding the underlying model, we can develop algorithms within that model to solve the problem. It can help us analyze problems and solution. So it can help us analyze the algorithms, it can help us make proofs about the system, and it can help us also for simulating a system and for testing a system running certain algorithms. Okay. So, um, modeling is a very important skill. There are different types of models, discrete event models, which are described by what we will call uh, a state transition system. The evolution of the system is described by a set of states and the system moves from one state to a next state okay, in discrete steps. Another type of model are so-called uh, continuous model models. And these are models that is describe the system properties as a number of variables and these va variables are function of time. So, it can be described by differential equations involving variables which can take real continuous values and these values change over time. So, the, the model is actually takes, it's a function of evolution of the system of, on time. In this course, we're going to study models of distributed computing and the models we are interested in are discrete models. So, one of the important challenge in, in uh, distributed uh, systems and modeling of distributed systems is basically to choose the right level of abstraction. By this I mean what aspects we keep in the model and what aspects we discard. So the model must be powerful enough to uh, enable us to say oh, there is no algorithm to solve this problem within this model. Okay, so it's a statement, for example, about um, possible algorithm uh, uh, for, for a specific problem in a system. It should be also powerful enough to tell us uh, this is the time it takes to execute this algorithm in this model. In general, a model should be precise, explains all relevant properties of that we are interested in, and concise. Also, it explains a class of a distributed system in a compact and concise way. What we are going to do in this lecture is that we are going to cover various computational models for uh, distributed systems, the asynchronous distributed model, the synchronous distributed model. We are going to learn what is an execution and what is a computation. 
we also are going to understand the role of time in this tribute system. In particular, in some models, we will see that the notion of physical time cannot be exploited. So we have to have some other notion of abstract time. We will see how to build a notion of a logical time based on causality between events. We are going to uh, estimate time and message complexity of various algorithms, and we try to do this with minimal formalism.